Shutter here with my Arts Endeavors. How are we doing today? Um, hmm, I'll dry it up. I'm doing okay. Um, that's a lie. I'm hurting, but hey, it's life. So, what we're here to do today is we are going to work on Gina Aaron's design team. And, and these are her stamps. These are all the different sets of stamps that she has out. Um, and what we're going to do, this month's prompt is color it. And I thought, oh, how perfect. I just um, got these from a friend of mine. I just purchased them from her. And I want to play with them. I, I don't have, well, I didn't have any of these. I didn't have any of the color box. So I'm thinking, what the heck? Let's play, right? It's color it. So what I plan on doing is I'm going to take some of Gina's stamps. And, of course, we're going to play with color. Now, um, let me just move some of these to the side because I need room here on my desk. Move it. I really want to check out these. We'll check out those a little bit later. Um, I want to start with these because I like the idea that they, um, you know, have the different colors in them. Just going to move this to the back somewhere, maybe. All right, and what I've decided to do is I've got a couple different types of paper here. I have no idea what this is. Um, I got it from, it was like a Japanese dollar store or Korean dollar store. I really don't know. And it's almost on the line of a, like a tissue paper, but a little bit thicker. Um, this side is more um, coarse and this side is more of a waxy. So I'm actually going to try it on both sides. I want to see what these are going to look like. So I'm going to cut this in half. And I want to... I want to stamp on both sides. The other thing I have here, this is, um, if you guys remember back when we would um, type things, this was typewriter paper and it was erasable so that we could um, mark on it and erase it really easy. Showing my age here, right? Okay, and this is the same on both sides. It's almost like a lightweight cardstock. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get out um, some of my, let's start with these. This is the very first set Gina came out with. Um, grab my ink blocks. I'm going to get a couple of them here. All right, and today this is all about color. So let's see what we can do with color. I just, I love the fact, I like this. Like it, like it, like it. So let's start out, let's do a butterfly. Why not? Whoa, sit down in there. Oops, sit down in That one doesn't want to stay in there. Let's see what it looks like. Oh yeah! How come that doesn't want to say? Look at that! Yeah, I like it. Okay, so here we go. Um, I just want to put this is on the glossy side, and it's okay. I'm just I'm playing. That's all I'm doing. I'm not looking for anything specific. Um, some of these I'll cut out and use. Other ones I'll just use in a background. That's no big deal. Okay, this was on the glossy side. This is on the non-glossy side. So let's see what happens. I don't think it matters. It goes through. Huh. I don't think it really matters what side you do it on. Just going to clean up my stamp here a little bit. Do a double. Haha. <laughs> All right. Let me grab. I got to get my these guys out. So I want to be able to clean off my stamps. Um. Yeah, we're going to play. We are going to play. So I'm going to go ahead and throw on some music. I'm going to sit here and just play around with these stamps and colors. And we will chat toward the end. I'll be back.
guys. All right. So we did the color it with the stamps, right? Um, with the, the three different colored stamps that we got. Um, I used just some index cards to do wipe off, like backgrounds, stamp off, I guess you could say, backgrounds. All right. So we have, this is one way to color um, a stamp. Okay, using colored inks, and here they all are, this one, this one, another one, another one, and another one. Now, this is not the only way to color it, you know. I'm trying to look at um, an actual colored space versus stamping them and then having to color them whether it's with you know markers or pens or crayons or whatever so i have these um these are let's see this is um shaving cream um that i was playing with i had a blast that one day and yeah that's my husband's firearm shop that he had at one point anyways um this is a shaving cream so i'm gonna stamp some figures on this and then these prints, this one, this one, and I believe this one, came from my dear friend Leslie. Look at that metallic. Isn't that awesome? So I'm going to stamp some figures on these. So this is going to be the normal way. We're going to get out our ink block. I put all this stuff away because I was, I was busy doing other stuff yesterday. Um, and I've got a couple sets of her stamps. See, it's still morning coffee. <laughs> um, and what I want to do... I want this one for sure. Um, where's the other? There it is. I want this flower and this flower. Okay. So they're the ones I want out of there. And we're just going to do the normal stamping. I've got archival ink here. Um, the feather or, or the... I want to do it on here. On here and on here. So this is just the leaf that came in, I think, set one of Gina's. And I'm just going to ink it like I normally would with my archival ink. Make sure it's got a good coat on it. And then I'm just going to stamp it. Now what I'll do is I'll stamp a bunch of these. And then I'll sit, when I sit at night and we either watch a movie or um, whatever, I'll sit and fussy cut these out. Aren't they going to be gorgeous leaves? Yeah. Look how cool they're going to be. <laughs> I can't wait. I'm going to do some more of these. And I'm also going to do some on the orange, but I want to do more of the metallic ones. When I'm doing stamping like this, I try to do it in threes. Because, you know, like they say, there's that rule of threes. You know, you should have three of whatever item. Three, five, seven, nine. Um, I like to do threes. So there's six of those. Now I have my, uh -huh, where are you, index cards here, there they are, um, that I'm just going to stamp off on. So there's still quite a bit of ink, as you can see, on that stamp. So why not just stamp it off and it kind of gives like a ghost in the background if you see that it's kind of like ghost stamps and then just throw some watercolor over this and bingo you got a background so um let me put this away do, do, do. now i wanted to do oh i wanted to do that on the orange too hold on bring that back all right we're gonna do it on the orange too Orange and gold leaves. Look how pretty that's going to be. That would be a really nice uh, fall page. I might have to do that. Alright, so I'm going to hang on to those two. Now I can do some more wipe off. Um, let me see if I can do it. There we go. Alright, so there's that one. 
Now I've also got out these flowers because I wanted to do some of these flowers on these other colors. Um, this one. So let's do some pretty flowers right here. Alright, so this is, you know, like I said, this is another way to color it. Um, there's many, many, many more ways out there to do this, to um, take stamps and make sure they have color on them. You can emboss them. There, I mean, there's just tons and tons of ways. You can use markers. You can use um, gel pens. You can use colored pencils. You can use anything to color them. Alright, and I've decided just to use the background and the, the um, ink. Isn't that cool? Those will be really cool flowers. I don't want another one of these. I want one of these. Oh, see the corner didn't go, but that's all right. I'm not worried about it. And we will get another index card just to stamp off on. All right, so I have three and three. Stamp that off. We'll stamp this off. And there we go. Okay, I like that. That's really pretty. Those will make real pretty flowers. Now, what I want is I'm going to go to a different set of cards. Or stamps, I mean. I have cards on the brain today. Uh, let's see. Now, this other set of stamps, this is her bird set. It's set number five. Um, actually, I have two of them in here, number four and five, with all the words, and then these two ladies, and then the birds. So, what I want out are some birds. Just want some little birdies. So, I'm going to do the same thing. Um, I'm just going to stamp on here and then like I said I will go ahead and cut these out um, fussy cut them while I'm sitting watching a, a program or a movie aren't they gonna be adorable seems dark in here I think it's because I don't have my big overhead lights on I hope that's okay guys Again, same thing. I'm just going to kind of ghost print that, so that's good. Now, let me grab another one. How about this guy? I love these little birds. They're so cool. All right, we're going to use this guy. We're going to do these sideways. Uh -huh. he, looks, he looks mad. Urgh. <laughs> the way his eyes are. He's funny. There we go. Again, I'm going to ghost him off on here. Okay. All right. So, that's actually all the birds I want. I don't want any more out of there. Do I want to do some of the girls or the words? Let's do some of the words. Um, let's do imagine. I want them in the blue or in the metallic, so let's do that. Okay, there's blue. Do I want some in the orange? No. A different word. Let's do create. And this actually still has stuff on it, so I'm just going to kind of ghost it off. All right, that's good. Now we've got create. There's create. All right, now I want some on here. Ha! 
How cool is that? Okay. And then I'm going to do some of the Imagine on here. You guys might hear my pellet stove in the background running. Yep, it's getting cold here in upstate New York. Getting cold. I like that. So that's cool. And again, this is just a, this over here, it's okay because what I'll do is I'll probably just throw either some light wash of paint over this or um, marker or whatever and then I'll either tear it up and use it as background or who knows. So I try to use um, as much of the ink and stuff as I can when I do this stuff. So not this one. I know some people this this method of storing these would drive them crazy. I actually love it. I love the fact that I can just go pick up a box and I know what's in it. <laughs> I don't have to go through packages, nothing. And this one, switch around just so it's easier. All right. So there we are. We've got more stamps colored. Shut this up. Shut put this on here. And there we go. All right. So that's all I'm going to do for this month's assignment is color it because, like I said, I'll sit down, I'll fussy cut some of these out. Well, almost all of these out. I'll fussy cut them out. And then I'll be using them in projects. Now, stuff like this, what I like to use it for is I love to use these when I'm making cards. Um, actually, it's funny because Gina and I were talking about that yesterday that, you know, we were talking about how we both had so many like different Christmas stamps and um, Halloween stamps and that kind of stuff and I said to her I said you know I said I don't really like using those I would much rather use her stamps or anybody else's stamps like um, you know their design stamps I'd rather use these than the commercial holiday ones and I do like to make cards so um, look how beautiful these would be for a fall Thanksgiving card, you know, and just put an imagine on it. Um, you know, it, it's so much fun to use. I didn't do anything more on the orange. I'm not a huge orange person, but I think those are going to be really pretty. The blue. Love this blue. And then here's with the um, actual stamp pads, the color of stamp pads. These are really cool. I mean, they look great. Would this guy look great on the front of a card? You know, even this this giraffe here, I just have to use a little bit of pen and, and finish him out. He'll be really cool. These little guys, the word smile. I mean, how cute would it be to put one of these on? Um, maybe this on top looking down. This guy here and then just put smile on the inside. You know? And then these. These are gorgeous, gorgeous leaves. I love these. And these little bugs are wonderful, too. Aren't they awesome? All right, so we can't wait to see what you guys create. I hope you come up with something really cool for the, the actual prompt, which is color. And don't forget to check out the artists in the description box below because everybody, I'm sure, is going to have their own take on this. All right? As always, like, comment, share, subscribe, thumbs up, and have fun. That's what life's all about. Happy creating. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.